The cost C of manufacturing and selling X units of a product is $3 per unit and $8 in materials. The corresponding revenue R is R equals X squared minus 20. Solve the system algebraically, so we can't solve using a calculator. Find the break-even values where the cost is equal to the revenue. And the question is how many units? So they want to know what is X? How many units of the product must be sold to break even? So I have one equation of R equals X squared minus 20. And I have a second equation of C. Okay, it's $3 per unit. So 3X and $8 for, materi for material. So to find the break even, we're going to set these two equal to one another. It doesn't matter which one you put first or write first, but I'm going to bring both terms over to the side that has the x squared. So when the 3 moves over, it's going to be a negative. 8 moves over, it's also going to be a negative. Nothing left on the right hand side. Now I'll combine like terms. And remember when you solve, you have three options. You can try factoring to solve, which is often the fastest, but it doesn't always work. You can always use the quadratic formula or you can use the completing the square method. So two numbers that multiply to equal negative 28 and combine to give you negative 3 would be x minus 7 and x plus 4. We don't have to do bottoms up since the leading coefficient is a 1. So to solve this, I can see one answer is x equals 7 and the other is x equals negative 4. Now x represents, x represents the number of units of a product. You can't have a negative number of products. So the answer is 7. How many units of the product must be sold? 7 units of the product in order for them to break even.